What's up everybody for the Winitachi here back at it again with a new guide and there is tons of speculation and I've been asked plenty of times about what should I do evolve or power up now let's go ahead and get into this really quickly and I'll give you guys an idea on why I suggest to do so first of all the question is should I evolve my uh, Pokemon or should I power up well I'm gonna go ahead and go to my uh, stronger Charmander it's a CP34. First of all, ignore the uh, the weight and the height for right now. And the reason being is you do not have to worry about it at all. It is some. It does take into play on how strong your Pokemon will be. That is true. But I want to focus on either you should power up or evolve your Pokemon. Now, if you want the strongest Pokemon you can get, when you evolve your Pokemon, everything on that Pokemon will change. For example, I have a Charmander whose weight is normal, about 8 kilograms, and its height is normal, 0.58 meters. Now, for me to power up, it costs 200 Stardust and 1 Charmander Candy, and for me to evolve, it costs 25 Charmander Candy. This Charmander knows the moves Ember and Flame Burst. Now, if I was to evolve this Charmander, first of all, let me go ahead and show you my other one. This one is actually an XL. Sadly, its CP is less. It's at 12. But this is an XL Charmander. So if I were to power up this Charmander to get its CP to match the other Charmander at level 34, this XL Charmander will eventually be more powerful than the original. The XL on the weight and the height take into play on HP and attack powers and all that stuff. So if you can get an XL Pokemon, you've got a stronger Pokemon off the bat. If you got, if it doesn't say anything, it means it's a regular, and it's just a regular Pokemon. And then it also has the opportunity to say XS, extra small, which is probably the weakest of all the three. Same thing to power up, 200 Stardust, 1 Candy. Same thing to evolve, 25 Candy. This one knows Scratch and Flameflower. When it comes to moves, I'd rather the other Charmander, which was my normal one. But when it comes to overall power and ability, this Charmander takes the cake. But again, the question is... Should I power up or evolve my Pokemon? Now, we're going to go ahead and go back to the other Charmander. Because this is the one I want to focus on. This CP on this Charmander is much higher than the other one. So, it is a little bit stronger. But not by much. It is just a Charmander. Now, again, last but not least, the question is, power up or evolve? I suggest you evolve your Pokemon before you do any power-ups. And the reason being is, when you evolve your Pokemon... Let's say I evolve this Charmander to a Charmeleon. Its moves will change, as well as the weight and height. Now, this is a regular Charmander. The Charmeleon could end up being an extra small Charmeleon, and its moves can be completely useless for me. But that doesn't matter, because I do have the opportunity to evolve that Charmeleon into a Charizard. So I'll keep that Charmeleon for the time being, Hopefully, somehow, that Charmeleon goes from extra small to extra large Charizard. So the reason why I say always evolve your Pokemon to their max potential first, because some Pokemon have three, two evolutions. For example, Charmander can go into a Charmeleon and a Charizard. Or we have another example. I got a Marowak and a Cubone. Cubone only has one evolution. It goes into Marowak. Um, the reason why I always say evolve your character into its max potential is because of the fact that it can change its moves. It might get some real bad moves, and you might not even want to play with that Pokemon at all. And without the moves, you also want to try to get an XL weight or height as well on that Pokemon because it'll also boost it up. If it goes to extra small or regular, you can deal with them. They're still powerful Pokemon. Of course, a Charizard is a Charizard. It is powerful, but it won't be as great as its max potential. But for the time being, you can still utilize that Pokemon if you don't have too many other great Pokemon. So I always say evolve your Pokemon first because you never know what you're going to get. It is weird and awkward. Let me go ahead and click on this Rhyhorn. I believe it's this one. Yes. It has an XL weight. So this is a humongous Rhyhorn. But if I evolve it into a Rhydon, that can totally change. And I do not understand why, but it is a random generator on when it evolves. So it can change into an extra small. So that Rhydon might be completely useless when I evolve it. So after I evolve it, I'm just going to go ahead and scroll all the way down. If it is a useless Pokemon, I'm going to go ahead and transfer it, get some candies off of that, and go from there. But again, 
The question is, power up or evolve? Always evolve your Pokemon until it's max potential. It does take longer to grind your candies from there because evolving takes much more than a power up. Power up only requires one candy while the evolve actually requires a ton. But again, evolve your Pokemon until it's max potential and then go from there. If it is a Pokemon that you want, if it is a Rhydorn with XL XL and super cool moves, then take it. And then go ahead and start powering up your Rhydon. So let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Tons of information and database checking and all that goodness has been done and dealt with with this system. And I believe that is the best way to go from. Because you never know. I got an XL Rhyhorn. I evolved it into a Rhydon. It might become an extra small. So its HP is going to be much less than an actual Rhydon. And then its moves might be, let's say, Growl and Leer. Which I know they, they're not moves, but they might be the super shittiest moves it ever gets. So that right on will become completely useless for me. So again, evolve your Pokemon. Peace!